Today we will learn about Excel's xmatch function. xmatch is improved version of match function. In this video, first we will see how to use xmatch with only two mandatory arguments that is lookup value and lookup array. Then we'll see the third optional argument match mode which is even capable to match with wild cards. And finally, we'll see the fourth optional argument search mode. If this argument is used effectively, then xmatch function speed can increase drastically. Hi, I am your tutor and welcome to my channel Learn in 5 minutes. So let's start. In example 1, we have to find row number for the employee ID provided from the left hand side table. Equal to xmatch first argument is lookup value which is employee ID in our case. And next is lookup array. This is the range in which we want to find our employee ID. So our range is B2 till B11. That's it. We will not use optional argument for now. And we got the position of the employee ID. Now let us move to example 2. Here we have commission amount and rates beside it. Let's apply xmatch here in the same manner as we did earlier. And we got result as 2. But what if we change amount to 45,000. Error. For simple reason, value isn't there. Let's use the third argument here. So the match mode has four options. Zero is by default, which is the exact match. Let's use minus one here, which is exact match or next smaller. We got the result as two because xmatch could not find 45,000. So it searched for next smaller, which is 25,000 and its position is 2. Hence we got this as a result. Now let us change the search mode to 1 which is exact match or next larger and we got the result as 3 because in absence of 45,000 next larger value is 50,000 and its position is 3. The fourth option in search mode is wildcard. To use this let us go to example 3. In this case we don't remember the full name of the employee, but we only know that the part of the name is stand. Therefore, we have to prefix and suffix the text with wildcard character asterisk before we proceed to find the position of that employee. Let's use xmatch for this as well. Our value is 10, lookup array is C2 till C11 and set search mode as 2 which is wildcard character match and we got the result. Now. For the fourth argument, let's move to example 4. Again let us apply the xmatch function here and skip third argument and in fourth argument that is search mode we will specify 1 which will search from top to bottom. By the way this is default if we skip this and our result is 1. Although we have 1 twice in the column, we got the result as 1 since it was found first. If we change search mode to minus 1 then xmatch will search from bottom to top and hence this has resulted in 13. For the other two options that is binary search ascending and binary search descending you will have to listen very carefully because this might sound confusing but these two options can boost the speed of xmatch drastically. So let's move to example 5 for this last two options of search mode in xmatch. Let us write the formula as we did earlier and skip the third argument and in search mode argument Let's use 2 which is binary search sorted ascending. Although the result is same but what is different here is the method in which xmatch performs search. Generally the match function searches from top to bottom or bottom to top which means that the function has to go to each and every record and check if that value matches with the lookup value. So imagine if the lookup array has 1 million records then the function will have a million stop to compare value with lookup value. Of course, the search stops no sooner the match is found. But then too, million is a huge number. And what if we have multiple x match of this kind? The performance of the worksheet will definitely go down. Now let's see how binary search sorted ascending works. We will stick to our example here, otherwise it will be very difficult for you to understand. The function will first divide the total count by 2. So in our case, it will be 12 divided by 2, which is 6. And compare the 6th value 
with lookup value that is 39,000 with 25,000. Now since 25,000 is less than 39,000, function will ignore all the value after 39,000 and again divide the remaining by 2. So 6 divided by 2 which is 3. Function will again compare 25,000 with third value that is 25,000 and this time the match is found and hence result is displayed. So in this manner, unless the result is found, function will keep on eliminating half of the remaining values. Now let us see how the other option that is binary search sorted descending works. We will need to change this option from 2 to minus 2 and we got an error. This is because the function divided the total count by 2. So in this case result is 6 and compared the 6th value with lookup value that is 39 with 25,000. Now since 25,000 is less than 39,000, function will ignore all the values above 39,000 since this is binary search descending and try to find 25,000 in the remaining values below 39,000 which isn't there. Hence we got this error. Let us sort the data to descending order and now we can see we got the result. Let us have a hypothetical scenario where we have an array of 10,000 values and our lookup value with match is the last. So in this case, function will try to match 10,000 times. But in binary search, it will divide by 2 and eliminate half every time till it finds the match, which means it will find the match with only 13 attempts. This is the reason why binary search runs fast. I hope you got a hang on how to use xmatch effectively. We can also use index function along with xmatch to find the lookup value. The way we use index with match function. In case if you want to know more about index match function, then I have a dedicated video on the same. I have provided the link of the same in the description box below and the i button above. Let us combine index with xmatch in example 6 to get employee name. First we will write the xmatch function as we did earlier. And we got the result as 7. Now we will wrap xmatch function in index function equal to index open parenthesis our array is what we want in return since we need employee name our array is c2 till c11 and row number is 7 which we got from xmatch function and we got the employee name so that's all in this video if you found this video useful please like and share with your friends and if you have not subscribed to this channel do it right now and press the bell icon besides the subscribe button so that you don't miss on any new videos that I upload. Thanks for watching.